What is up, my dude? It's Pixel Plume here, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver episode 37. Oh, my mom! <laughs> she was tired of waiting. It's like, all right, you better answer your phone, young man, before I totally just take all your money, never give it back to you, never gonna give it up, you know, all that fun stuff. And then, yeah, last episode, <laughs> we evolved some Pokemon of ours together. We got ourselves Mudora, the Miss Magius now, and Plumaria. The Vile Plume, all evolved. They're so beautiful. I love it. No Sprout too. Your time will come soon. Maybe not now, but it will come. I promise. I trust. Believe. Have faith in me. But we're gonna continue our trek upwards in the Victory Road in our way to make it to Bleed Four, because I want to give it everything I got, just like this lovely lady. I always remember her because of her team. I think it's just so cute of a team. Joyce. Joyce. She got a Pikachu over there, so chipper and happy. Flip that leg. Alright, so we're gonna fake it out. I should probably give an item, honestly, to Ampy Lee. I think he could benefit from Wow. That was that was a lot of that was pretty powerful. Oh no! 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 You missed! Oh great. Well, in times like this, I would normally freak out, you know, because you know, you don't like dealing so much with these things, but we're gonna use our special ability, Mind re Oh, please don't not kill, please do not kill. <laughs> We're gonna use our special ability, Mind Reader, hopefully not dying, thank goodness. And Mind Reader will guarantee that you hit your opponent, so... That's always a good tactic to have, especially with moves like High Jump Kick, which is so high risk, high reward kind of situation, so I'm definitely gonna keep, um... High, uh, Mind Reader. I just had a brain fart right there, so... Next up we got Blastoise. I love this combination. I think it's just such a clever, clever combination of Pokemon. I don't know. It's like my two favorites. It just reminds me of Cupcake and Cracker from my very first Let's Play. Those two hand in hand. Joyce, she was inspired by those two. It's like, alright, I want these two on my team right now. And if there was a way I could mod the game so that my Roy was in this game, I would. Because I think that's such a fun, that would be such a fun idea. If, like, you can hook up, like, your data from, like, another game and convert the team. Like they did with, um, Black and White, too, with the memory links. If you had gotten far enough in your black file or white file, you could link it up and you get special events exclusive to a complete, like, kind of like a little incentive to have beaten those games. It's like, you're containing the story a bit, and it ties in. And your rivals actually have the same teams that they did in the past, which I think is really cool, honestly. I think this is a fun touch. And I kind of wish they do that more if they do a sequel of another game. I don't know. But I think that would be pretty cool, if you ask me, personally. But no characters would have developed as much as Black and White's rivals. I love those rivals. They're so good. They're so fun. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, Dev Dan, I think he's an alright rival. I think he's interesting enough to keep me, you know, in interesting enough to beat him down, because he's always like, I'm better than you. I'm all hot totty. You know, oh, Dev Dan, he doesn't care for the children like he does in Fire Emblem. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. He does not care at all. I'm gonna cry thinking about it, but, uh... Yeah, there's really not much left. This route's just a straight way up there. We had to repel because I didn't want to deal with any wild Pokemon on the way up, but... By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. Yes. Yes. I agree. Sure. We'll go- we'll roll with that. Gavin. Gavin! So he's got a victory bell over here. Look at how, look at how, I love this victory bell spray. I don't know what it is. I think it's like that. It takes up the whole screen. It's not afraid that it's big. It's like, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat you up. You know, that kind of motif, I guess, is what it is. I don't know. But just something so humorous about a victory bell. It's just so dang cute. You know what's not cute though? Getting toxic. I don't like that one bit. Not at all. But uh, you know what I do like? Plucking. So we're gonna pluck this baby up. I really don't remember what pluck base power is, and I'm too lazy to check right now. I'll check after the recording, but the fact that I didn't need to fly against those bulk swords back in the area, it, it really makes me think, double think, like, huh. You know, make a, take a double take. That's the expression I want to say. You know, not take a whatever I said before. <laughs> I don't think about things when I say them, they just come out of my mouth. And honestly, that's... That's good in some cases, sometimes you just, it's not, it's like word vomit, you gotta think what you say. But, in a casual environment like this where I just wanna have, like, just have a good time, I'll say what I want. And that's what's gonna come out. Because <laughs> I never know what's gonna come out of these lips. That 
pop through my mouth. Because when I think about it, when I try to like rehearse, I hate rehearsing scripts. That is my least favorite. It's so painful for me to do a script. Like, oh my god, you have no idea. If you think about back when I was talking about the Puyo retrospective, that was the most frustrating thing of my life to do. I actually hated thinking about what to say. It's just like, you know, I just want to say things to say things. And if I have to prepare things, I stutter a lot. So, I'm very impromptu when it comes to stuff. Because even when I think about just a little bit of what I'm going to say, I, I I freeze up. It's like, oh my god, I can't do it. I can't say what I have to say. Just do it with the motions of the ocean. Like, surf. Oh my god. I'm, I can't stand these, like, consistently, like, very little HP left. Because those can come bite you in the butt. I, I swear. It's going to come bite me in the butt one day when I do not want it to. And it, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be a pretty ending. And I'm calling right now, here in episode 37, that is, I just jinxed myself that things are not going to turn out pretty at one point or another. It's it, it just not. Gavin, I guess he wants to, you know... Can, can you heal my Pokemon too? I, I, would, I would like that. But, um, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. We have a couple berries. Petcha berries. I really should use more of these berries. You know, they're so handy. But they're always so tedious, and Thunder Moon, once again, I'll give praise to because it did that right as far as how to accomplish that last part of berry farming, I guess. Berry farming is what I want to say. They do it the best, because there's a constant incentive to do it, is my point. And oh man, you are so lucky that I do not have a fire type move, Parasect, because I would just be having a field day wrecking you up, I swear to god, it would... It would be, it'd be the greatest for me. I wish I remembered the Pokemon better so I could have a better start in these battles, but I don't. I just know that they're cool, and we rarely see them. That's all I have to go on, and oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Darn you, Parasect. Kind of shiny Paris. I should probably get, like, I can't do shiny hunting right now. It's, it's not in my blood right now. I, I can't think about it right now. I really can't, because my sister, anyways, is playing my 3DS that has Sunny Moon, which I like playing on. I like playing on the bigger 3DS. I liked, I recorded a lot playing on the small one that I used for capturing, but same, it, it just felt a little inconvenient as far as it playing it, because it died a lot pretty quickly, honestly, because I don't use this a lot. I just use it strictly for recording, and it died quite a bit, you know, when you use it in the real world. So, it's not exactly the most ideal thing. You can use it, but it's so small too. And I don't like it, and the triggers don't work as well, so when you're soft resetting, it's not as easy as you like to think. It's like, you push it down, but you're like, you're on my current 3DS, it's just like, you click, and you're good to go. You can soft reset for all kinds of things that you want. So if that Porygon goes down, bye bye You're very beautiful. But, uh, yeah, that's my thing about that's my stance on Shiny Hunting right now. I love it, but not right now. Yeah, I guess that's my thing with Animal Crossing too. so I guess they're both on the same page. They understand each other, is my point that I want to make. So, Psychic, get out of here. I don't like that a bit. You know, you're the one of the most confusing Pokemon in the world, Golduck, because you're a Psychic- You have Psychic moves, but you're not a Psychic type. It just doesn't add up to me, what the heck. You are a weirdo. And if you were a Psychic type, I would be freaking out more, because you would have type advantage over me. So, you know, that's your own fault for messing that up, duck. Oh man, good old duck duck, paduck duck, paduck duck duck, and a lemonade stand, and he said to the man, right in the stand, hey, bump bump bump, don't copyright me, Jake. Bump, 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 bada bump, bump, bada bump, bump. I just did bumps a lot, you know, that, that's just what I did, so, I'm coming to the last area, I think we're good for now, so. And there's the gate over there, I just gotta get to the gate, and we're golden, the golden gate. I lost to a red-headed trainer. He was really strong, but it was as if I absolutely had to win at all costs. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. And you know what? I didn't mention this when I started because Mom called me, but I gotta say, I love this route theme. I think it's just such a good route theme. It's like... It's, it just feels so very ceremonious, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's just so dang good. So dang good. Alright, so let's... I jump kick this thing to the face before it can stomp through me. Oh, jeez. Let's do it. Yeah, push it away. Push it away. Yeah, we got the kill. Crit City. 
Remember when MP used to crit a lot when its first debut? I love that. It was so good. And you have a Flappy too! This is ridiculous! I don't understand this. This is like some kind of witchcraft going on. It's not a great Pokemon right now. Emperor, sure, I guess. But a Flappy and a Marie at the end game. I just don't understand it. Thank you for the level up, but you know what I mean? You know, they're cute. Come on. Come on. Pokemon are tools of- well, okay. This isn't Fire Emblem, you don't have to get tools of war on me. You're very good at battling, we should battle again sometime. By challenging a tough trainer like you, I think I get better too. Alright. Can I get your number? Sweet. We got it. So, I can cut this portion out just to go back and heal so you don't have to see it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace! And to the gate we go, whoosh! <laughs> it's a little whoosh in there, but uh, welcome to the Elite Four area, the, the reception gate. Only trainers who approve themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto, please go right on through. So these areas on the left and right of us, we can't get to quite yet. Uh, you can't even get to them after you beat the Elite Four, so that just goes to show you how long it'll take before you even have to come back here afterwards. But we're here at Victory Road, and I am excited. I am a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit annoyed. You know why? Because there's this freaking rock like right in front of us that we didn't even that wasn't even this game for this area literally needed no HM whatsoever and I was like oh you know all the other victory roads have HM so why not throw in a stupid rock in the way just to be annoying you know that's that, that just like come on why why you gotta do this it, it wasn't even it, you didn't need it you were fine you were the most harmless victory road in the world in the world and that you, you throw in a rock, and you throw in a potion too. Well, who's gonna need a potion at this point? I'm getting so angry. <laughs> it's like nothing you can get upset about, but but hey, look at this way. You get plenty of cool items in here because I have to make the best of four super health. I probably should have bought more, but oh well. What can you do now? Except bump into stupid rocks that are in the way. I want to get as many items as I can. Of course the repels won't work if the Pokemon is higher level, like this, or the same level rather. So we got an Onyx over here. My gosh, you know what? I'll just finish it off. But it has pretty poor special defenses. And Medora, hopefully with a Calcium. Cal Calcium? It should help out. Maybe get that level up the boost that we need. 555, five, five. yeah! 555, 555. Two special, okay. Uh, I actually took the time to look at that because it's like, ah, uh, I need to, I need to think about this. Concentrates. So you got a full heal over there. Not a lot of these items are gonna be pretty useful. I gotta say, there are some cool HMs that in particular I want, so I'll keep my eye out for those. But uh, in the wall, we got a max potion, so that's when the does. Wow, we, we barely even use that repel, and it already expired. That's that's great, actually. I really should have stuck for more, but such is life make things disappear. Um, yeah, we can still strength, so thank goodness for that. Uh, psh, give, me that give me that item. It's a max revive. Yeah, no, you want these, especially with the Elite Four coming up. Jeez. All these things just look the same. No item over there, so we don't have to waste our time. Climbing on up and into the sky. How far can we go? What's this? Over there, okay. So we can't strength our way over there, but it's a, it's a nice way to get out of the place, so I can always appreciate that. And I'm sorry, so excited about these dialing things, even though I'm not using it for the most potential. I just want to get through. Oh my god. These freaking repels need to last longer. It needs to last till the end of time, as far as I'm concerned. The land before time, rather. Oh man, such a, such a tragic movie that is. Alright, jump down the hole with me, Mudora. Alright, so, I guess that's- oh, I like that! They indicate the spot that you land on with these sweet, like, I guess it's like, rain drips or something. That, that's a little gross to think about, but, hey, okay, what can you do? Alright, so we're gonna string. I want that item over there, so, to do a little bit of manipulation as far as moving goes, so, just like that, and ta-da! Full restore will be yours! If it's yours to implore. Don't. Okay, I didn't need to move it that much, but up. Uh, there's not one there. There's a push hole thingy. There's a hole to fall down there. I don't know if I need to go down there per se, but uh, 
because I won't. I won't need to. What's this? An Ultra Ball? Sweet, I will take an Ultra Ball. And there's the exit right there. I'm pretty close. Let's see. Oh, come on. It's behind that rock. I don't really want to deal. And all these rock smashes, they're just being here to be- They're just being here to be mean as far as I'm concerned. You are meanie bears. Oh, sweet. We get this item. Sick item, bruh. <laughs> oh man, I'm dumb. We're dumb, we're dumb. Let's see. Yeah, can't miss out on this either. A PP up and an HP up. You know, all the all the ups. Upsy daisy. Oh come on. That was barely three steps. That's come come on gang, why you gotta do this to me? It's a goal bat. Nothing special but a goal bat. Going in the exit. I'm not gonna look for the special there are special HMs in here. TMs actually, but uh you know, with the little with the minimum amount of things, I don't know if I'm ready to explore that. I'll probably get the items off screen and show them off. But they are neat here. And if you explore, you will find them. This is not a walkthrough. This is just me being a dank boy, exploring all that you have that has to be offered. I swear to god, if we need a rock smashing a rock smash something in a face. We don't, but we made it! But uh, Hold it! Are you going to challenge the Pokemon League? Victory Road is the end for sure. But did you notice? You didn't see any real trainers on the way, did you? No, I didn't. And I actually appreciate that, that there weren't any trainers in here. Man, they're all spineless. Well, the fact that you come this far means you're not one of them. But your journey ends here. Because right here, right now, I will crush you. Dev Dan is ready for this. Let's do this, Dev Dan. I'm ready to take you on. I forget what you lead off with. I think it's a gold bat. That's why I put Mudor up in front, but you never know. You never know with these things. It's a Sneasel, of course. Of course, Pixel blows it immediately with what it leads with, but Sneasel's not particularly threatening to me. I know it's a dark type. I know it's super effective. But really, Sneasel's like a glass can- No way! <laughs> That's ridiculous! Come on! Come on, get out of here. Mudora. We're just- we, She and I were just enjoying a nice stroll and you gotta be like- you gotta be like, that's a critical? Come on, this is so stupid. Well, okay. If we're gonna play that game. We're just gonna play this game over here. Get in here, Ampule. This is your battle, I guess. So, Fate Attack again. Oh my gosh, that was not a great way to leave. He always changes the formation of his team. That's what that's what bothers me. I thought it would be like, Sneasel first, and that did a lot of damage. Oh my god. This Sneasel becoming a big problem, but it's not a Weavile. I'll, I'll say that. So, teamwork on that aspect. You tank a hit a Kudabra. Kuda- Kudab- Kuda. You know. Oh, Kudabra, you are a joke. You are a meme. Pokemon are memes. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, Kudabra is up in here next. And, uh, Fainter Attack should be able to take care of this thing, I think. Oh, except for Reflect. Maybe not. So... Reflect, it doubles the defense power of this thing, so I think it's really good, actually. Not just, like, raising one stat, but it, it doubles, essentially, and that's pretty nasty. It lasts for five turns, though, so it'll fade away. Or if you have, like, Brick Break, it'll get rid of it. So that's always handy to have. Nosferatu you gotta level up. I always approve of those. Magneton. We got a Magneton Slayer over here because nobody can learn Earthquake, as far as I'm concerned. So... Private the Brave, shock your foes, and dazzle them with your style. This is the place to be. Use Dig for me. Yeah, go down under. This is literally the Magneton Killer, who is what Private is now. Supersonic? It's, it's, no, it's not the place to be right now. I do not want to deal with that. Can we do it? Come on. I know it's bulky. I know it's bulky. But yeah, two critical hits. Magneton is like, I know your weak spot. Private knows. Private's a scout Pokemon. He can see all, he can feel all, he is all. And Bailey is all in, baby. We're gonna do this. Alright, let's, let's go, Bailey. BLTs, raise them for your knees. And uh, Dev Dan is like, he's he's struggling right now. We got him. After a little miscue, you know, you gotta play a little bit of like, oh, you know, something's gonna bad gonna happen, but maybe this is what's gonna happen. The confuse is gonna get me shook. I don't know. I would like it not to, but yeah. Freeze beam! We... We freezing. Can we do it, though? I don't think it's enough, but yeah, just barely. Barely killed it, but that's okay. I don't... I don't mind that. You're allowed to have a little bit left. The flinch, not so much, but 
I'll take it. I won't take that again. Come on, just let us attack. The confusion, at least, hopefully the counter keeps going for confusion, but as far as it goes. No, not at all. Come on. Yeah, yeah, Bailey's like, okay. I just need a little bit of time to like, dust myself up, enjoy a nice BLT thereby. You know, all that wonderful jazz. Yeah, more level ups, give them to me. I Give them to me now. I'll probably train to level 40 before I take on the Elite Four, just as a preface note. I think that's like a good enough level. I think overtraining, it, it doesn't make it as exciting, I, I gotta say. But uh, Pumeri is almost there. That's good. The rest of the team just has to catch up now. <laughs> Pumeri, I dazzle them with your elegance and grace. Probably Sleep Powder, because this person probably knows Ice Fang, I wanna say. But wow, I did like nothing. Nothing! Wasted it. Touch these, touch these! If you know where that's from, let me know down in the comments below. I would. <laughs> if you know where that joke is, Heidi's Lemon Party, all that wonderful stuff. I'll talk from the same thing. Touch these! But uh, we're just gonna suck them up, do our thing. We can't dazzle them with our dancing skills yet because we're just. Wow. Wow. Alright. Criticals. I love them. Keep them coming. Maybe. Oh man, girl. So the last one is Haunter. Who have we not used yet? Mm, we pretty much used everybody, actually, so... Except Private. Pri well, we could use Private, but Private needs more action. That's my excuse. Private, get in there and do some work for me, daddy. And his last Pokemon, it's like, I see. Seems like luck wasn't just luck about you this far. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, just throw away the battle, why don't you? Curse yourself. Curse your luck. Blame your fates. This is a claw. Claw you all the time. Get out of here, Haunter. That's it. Game set and match goes to Plume 999. Ooh, that's spooky. I couldn't win. Devden gave it everything Devden had. What you possess and what Devden lack. Devden's uh, words. They just go so fast, but whatever. The point is, I haven't given up becoming a Pokemon trainer. Devdan is gonna find a way why Devdan can't win and become so this third person. How can people do third person? I just don't understand it. When Devdan do, Devdan will challenge you. Uh, Devdan will beat you down with all my power. Hmm. You keep at it until then. Okay, you you saunter off. Cause we are we are out of here. Mom, I know you're excited that money's cut pouring in. And it's almost the sun is setting, and we're here at the Elite Four. We did it! Let's go in here and heal up. Oh man, this sounds so triumphant. But we finally made it, guys. So the next time you see Pokemon Soul Silver, guys, we're taking on the Elite Four. Be prepared for that. That's gonna be, gonna be a wild ride, baby. Three episode saga, perhaps. I wanna say that's probably how it's gonna go. But look forward to it, guys. I can't wait. See you guys then.